Hello everybody. Super excited to be here with you. This is a totally impromptu Facebook Live. So before everybody jumps on, I'm going to give a few um, instructions. If you're watching this on YouTube, that means that this video is no longer live. You want to make sure that you follow me on Facebook so that you can catch all my live stuff there. Um, so you would go to Facebook and search Lovin' Stampin, spelled with a U, L-U-V-I-N, Stampin. And then you can um, follow there and you can turn on the notifications so that you'll receive a, a notification when I go live. If you already follow me on Facebook but you don't get a notice that I go live, then you would want to um, fix that by going to your notification settings on my Love and Stampin' page and then just choose to be notified when I go live. Okay, so today's live event is just showing you all the awesome products that I have received from Stampin' Up! today. Um, I placed my pre-order on August 1st and I had it two day shipped to my house. So I've got a lot of stuff to show you. Um, I'm going to make this as quick as possible, but still being fun, just because I have a ton, I have two full boxes of product. So I wanna make sure that we get through all of it. All right, so let's, um, let's show you stuff, the fun stuff. Okay, so I'm just gonna start pulling stuff out of boxes. I honestly have not gone through any of this stuff yet, so you're just gonna see it as I see it, essentially. So um, this is one of my favorite stamp sets in the new catalog. Let's see, let's see if I can grab all the fall and, it's all kind of together, actually. The fall and, this is cute. Because if I can do that, then you can see the wintry stuff. So I already had the bat punch that goes with this stamp set. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Um, I already have the bat punch that goes with this stamp set because I got it on the cruise. So I was excited about that. That's kind of a head start for me. Really cute sentiments. Love, love, love. If you know me, you know I'm a huge animal lover. So I love this stamp set. I think it's really fun and cute. And it's going to make some adorable Halloween treats and cards. Although I don't really make a lot of Halloween cards. I like to focus on treats instead. So that this will make some cute treats. This goes with a really great framelit. And I don't know if I can find it at the moment. Yeah, I have no clue where it would be. Um, I found the cauldron dies. So we'll just, if we come across it at some point, then we'll be able to look at it. Anyways, um, this has a really cute little takeout treat box that comes with it. And I can't wait to use this to make tons of treats for um, Halloween, Christmas, it's got a Christmas sentiment, and then I could even use it for Valentine's if I wanted to. And then, this is my super favorite, is this little witch with her cauldron and her kitty cat and her little ghost. I think she is so cute. Um, she is just adorbs. So let's see, here's all the die cuts that come with her. So it cuts the witch out, the broom, the kitty, um, the cauldron, this must be the little frog, the ghost, the hat, and then a cool little spider web, and then some, the stars. It cut, looks like it cuts out some stars. So very, very, very cute stamp set and bundle there. Okay, I'm gonna have to make some room here because, ugh. ouch, I just poked myself with scissors. All right, okay, then we've got the Falling Four Leaves stamp set. This also has framelits that go with it, but again, they're buried somewhere in here, so we'll come across them at some point. Um, just think this set is really cool. Um, and I love the sentiments. Thinking of you with a grateful heart, harvest of thanks, and thankful. Really great sentiments. Now, all of these products will be available on September 5th. 
unless of course you're a demonstrator, in which case you got to order on August 1st. So if you are thinking that you would like to get your hands on all this stuff early, you can purchase the starter kit and you can put these items in the starter kit. You don't even have to wait to place another order. You can just um, make the decision to put these in the starter kit. So that's handy. Okay, this is not actually in the holiday catalog. This is in um, the annual catalog, but we teachers, you know, we're getting back to the school year, so I needed this set, so I went ahead and grabbed that. Okay, so I've got a ton of stuff here. So making every day bright. The great thing about this is it pairs with two different stamp sets. So making Christmas bright and making every day bright. And then there's this cute little punch. So you could use this little penguin. Um, there's a little, I don't know what that is. What is that called people? A spider web. Pine cones. There's actually just a light. And then these look like little light bulbs with little images in them, super cute. So it's a really, really cute set. And it's nice that it pairs with a punch. So you get two sets. You can order two different sets for that. Okay, we've got Timeless Tidings Christmas. It says, Merry Christmas. May the warmth of Christmas fill each corner of your heart and home. Happy New Year uh, and a Happy New Year. Ho uh, hoping beautiful moments and happy memories surround you at this time of year. Just really awesome, awesome sentiments. This one is called So Santa and it is hysterical. I just love it. Um, it's just a cool Santa. He's barbecuing, he's at the beach, and here he's on like one of those little scooter ped things. I don't know what this is called, but it's cute. Okay, this is a cute set, very simplistic. Um, you've got the punch that goes with the candy cane. This is a great starter set if you're new to stamping or if you have a friend or family member that you think might enjoy stamping. This would be a great gift with some of the um, note cards or something like that and a red ink pad. I mean, you could you could get them a red and a green ink pad with this and they would be set. This is my personal favorite um, Christmas set, Signs of Santa. And I don't know where the framelits are at the moment that go with it. Let me dig a little here, give me just a second. Santa's signpost. I wonder if this must this might be it. Let's take a look at them. Oh my gosh, this is just so much fun to do. I love doing catalog reveals. Oh yeah, this is it. So you can see there is like a die cut for every shape, which is awesome. I love that. And then you have these extra little snowflakes. This is a killer set. I absolutely love this set. So um, I'll be doing a lot of stuff with this one, I'm sure. I'm sure of it. Okay, what else do we have? Oh, we've got Deck the Halls, um, beautiful baubles. So I saw those framelits, here they are. These come with the detailed, you can get this in a bundle. Now remember, when you purchase in a bundle, you get 10% off. So let me throw this out to you. If you purchase the starter kit, not only do you get 10% off the bundle price, but you get an additional 20% off. So I got 30% off this stamp. Well, actually, I got like 68% off because um, the way I run my business, I'm able to get a larger percentage. And so I got like a huge percentage off this, this set, um, off any bundle set. But when you're first starting out and you become a demonstrator, if you purchase stuff, you get that 20%. So when it's marked down 10% already, then you're actually saving 30%. So it's a huge savings to purchase the starter kit. I try to tell people that all the time. They don't believe me. They think I'm just trying to rope them into some crazy thing. But it really is the best deal for your money. Um, if you plan on purchasing products. If you don't plan on purchasing products, well then it would probably be a waste of money, wouldn't it? Okay, this is the Beautiful Blizzard stamp set, which is beautiful, absolutely. 
And look at this dye it comes with. Holy Moses. This is just going to make some of the most beautiful backgrounds ever. I cannot wait to use these. All right, look at this great background stamp. Buffalo check. So this is the only thing I ever get wood mounted is a, um, I always get my background stamps in wood mount because um, they're easier for me to use. And some of you might be saying, well, like, what about the Stamparatus or the Misty or whatever, like a stamp positioning tool. I still find that it is easier to use a background stamp this big with a, with a wood block. Um, it just works better for me to each their own, right? Like maybe it would, it's easier for somebody else to but we'll just put this guy together really quick. There we have it. And that one's done. Okay, I got this one because you know I love to color and so I can see stamping a bunch of these and sitting and coloring them and just really enjoying that coloring time. It's a relaxation time for me. All right, I'm pulling more stuff out of the box. Here we go. Give me a minute, give me a minute. All right, so we have new Stampin' Blends. So speaking of coloring, they've made Real Red. We've got, um, what is this, Shaded Spruce. Black, thank you Lord for finally making us a black marker. Thank you, thank you, thank you Stampin' Up. Um, we've got, this is the new Mango Melody. This is Cajun Craze, and this one is Blackberry Bliss. So we've got all the new Stampin' Blend colors from the holiday catalog. <coughs> um, they are $9 for a combo or $4.50 each. So I'm excited to have these colors in my arsenal now. All right, let's keep going here. I've got all of the new Shimmer Paint. Now this was one of my favorite products that Stampin' Up! used to carry long ago. And when they discontinued it, I was really upset um, because I love using this stuff. So I was really excited to see it came back. The Champagne Mist is my favorite. And it's great to mix with ink. I'll show you guys lots of fun stuff you can do with this. So I got all the colors. There's four different colors that you can get and I got them all. Here's the other one. I love this one too. This is bright copper. So there's like gold, champagne, copper, and this one is frost white. So fun, fun there. I was happy to get my hands on those. I'll probably be ordering a lot more of them. Okay, we've got Spirited Snowman. How cute is this? Hey Lori. Hi Carol, hi Brianna. And we've got tags and tidings. So this is not, let's see if I have takeout. Oh, here's those takeout thin ones. Remember earlier I told you that there were, um, there was some great, a great dye that set that went with. So this is it. And it makes a little box. So, you know, I love that kind of stuff. And then there's some stuff here that you can cut to go on it. Okay. Oh, look at these. These are fabulous. Santa's Workshop Enamel Shapes. Look at them. And they're super flat. I like that. So now you don't have to worry about them making your card too thick to put in the mail. That's really nice. Really nice. They're almost like stickers. They just barely stick up. I like that a lot. Oh, these are the Leaf uh, leave Thinlets. I saw I had that stamp set out earlier. Let's look at these really quick. Wow, look at these. These are gorgeous. That's gonna cut out really beautiful detailed leaves. That's very, very pretty. Okay. What's next? Let's see, oh, we've got the Farmhouse stamp set. You guys think I have enough stuff here? <laughs> Lisa says, I'm just sitting here waiting on my pre-order. 
It isn't letting me watch. Going out and trying again. Okay. Yes, Denise says, so happy to see shimmer paint again. Me too. Okay, so these are the farmhouse framelits. Look at this little picket fence. How cute. And then it cuts out, of course, the house and the truck and the tree. And then there's like banner pieces that it cuts out. I love this set. Love, love, love. Okay. Oh, and I see kids about to come in my house and they're going to make a bunch of noise. So, FYI, get ready to hear a bunch of racket. I'm going to tell them to be quiet when they get in here. Okay, so this is the Baker's Boxes. I ordered lots of them, obviously, because I am very excited to see, to make stuff with these. Not just for Halloween, but for Christmas and for fall. So let me show you these because you really can't tell what they are just by looking here. So they come like this and it looks like you open it up and then you just fold on all the lines. Yep, okay, here, this is how you do it. Um, so you're gonna fold in. I can just tell right away this is how this works. So it looks like there's little slits here. So you fold this in these kind of poke through the slits Oops. and then this folds over the top of the front and then these poke into the slits as well and that keeps the box closed how easy is that easy peasy lemon squeezy as they say love this box okay so then it folds over and then check this out this goes inside this goes inside and look, there's a little tab. Love these. These are awesome. And then it's a clear window on the top. Oh, you're gonna see some stuff from me with this. Love that. Okay, uh, what else we got happening here? Let's see what's in this. This is the Christmas Traditions Punch Box. Ooh. Yay. Oh, look at the tin. I'm a sucker for a tin, people. I'm a sucker. Oops, sorry. Bump the camera. Oh, my child. In here under my feet, asking me questions while I'm doing this. Okay, so um, this is the box, which is gorgeous. And then this is the stamp set and the punch. So there's this really cute little label punch, a clear block. You get Call Me Clover in real red. And then this is the stamp set. So it says Merry and Bright, Holly Jolly Christmas, Sending Christmas Wishes, Jingle All the Way, Peace and Joy, Heaven and Nature Sing. Very cute. So... Sorry guys, there's kids in the house, so they're making noise and being weird right now. You'll have to just ignore. So that's the Christmas box. Very cute. All right. So that is 45 bucks. Not cheap, but you do end up with a great little tin, right? And a stamp set. All kinds of cute stuff. All right, what else is in here? Let's see. Oh, I've got twine. Ooh, these are cute. These are the galvanized buttons. Look at these. Adorable. Oh my gosh, I love them. Love. Love, love. There is some white and green. Yep, garden green baker's twine. Then they have these little Santa bags, which are kind of, we used to have like little muslin bags. But how cute are these? Look. They're, they're muslin, and then they just gather on one corner, so it looks like a little Santa sack. So stinking cute. Hi, Christine. My cousin Christine's on here hanging out with us. Okay, so there's those. More of the same. I got multiples of some of this stuff. Oh, I'm so excited about this ribbon. This is the burlap ribbon, and it's got red and white running through it. Isn't that beautiful? I just love it. Love it. 
wonder how many times I'm gonna say that while we have this going on. Okay, here are some wood, silver on one side, wood on the other. Um, sentiments, little trees, stars, so stinking cute. I love these. Oh, said it again. I'm keeping it going here, I'm keeping it going. Stick with me, I'm digging through the boxes. I literally got these boxes and got cleaned up to do a video with you guys. So, okay, what's this? This is the Distressed Red Card Tin. Ooh, let's look at it, shall we? So I have an idea for this. I really want to make, um, for Christmas this year, I thought it would be fun to make a few um, family members cards for the year so that they would have like birthday cards and Christmas and happy anniversary and thank you cards and put them in this tin and this would be their Christmas gift. Isn't that cute? So I just love, I love tins. They're my fave. Oh, and I got another take your pick tool. Now I showed you guys this tool on my live the other day, but I'll show it again here. Um, so basically I wanted two of them because this is my plan. Let me show you. So I'll have one tool that stays like this, which I don't understand why this is so like, oh, cause it's supposed to go all the way down. <laughs> okay. So I want to leave one tool like this and then I want this tool, I'm going to take this piece off and I'm going to put on the, oh, for heaven's sakes. I'm going to put on the stylus, the scoring tool. I'm going to put on the skinnier one. Did I lock it? Yeah. So now I'm going to have both of these sitting in my craft space, just like this. And I can grab whichever tool I need. And then if for some reason I do need a pokey end, I can just switch this but I have a paper piercing tool, so I don't think I'll actually need that end. I'm gonna more need this end. So I'm gonna have both of these just kind of hanging out in my craft space, and then I'll have both ends easily accessible, if that makes sense. And then I have my backups. Okay, next up. Ooh, love that tin. I've been making lots of cards to give to my daughter for Christmas. I just might have to get that tin. Oh yeah, you do. It's adorable. Okay, so this is the Ser Sincerely Santa Project Kit. Ugh. I'm excited to see how they packaged it. Oh, it's another tin, guys. Aww. How cute is this? Look at this. And all your, your stuff to make all of your... Oh my god, I have to have a class on this. Everybody should own this. How cute. Look at the little bells. So this kit makes like a bazillion. Let's see. How many does it make? I know it says it in here somewhere. But look at all these adorable tags. Now that would be cute as a gift to make all the tags. It makes 30 tags. So here's the stamp set that you have to buy. So you buy the stamp set and you buy the kit together and then you can make all these tags and then you, if you wanted you could make them put them in here and give this as a gift to somebody before Christmas so they had all their tags or you could keep it your dang self and have a bunch of tags I might get a few of these this is I could see getting multiples of these I want to have a class where we make these this is so cute this one's from Santa. How cute is that? Look at these tins together. Oh, adorable. Yes, Jen, me too. Jen says, love all the tins. Okay, we're getting down to the end here finally. Oh, there's those Christmas tag thinlets. So these are also... You can sit, take this entire thinlet, put it down over stamping all the all the images, and cut them all together at one time. How amazing is that? 
That is this stamp set. Let me find it. Where did I put it? Do, do, do. I had it. I had it here. Here it is. Tags and tidings. So look, if you stamp them just like they are, they're all together. They're all together on one piece. So you can, you take this big piece off, you stamp it, and then you just take that die and you cut them all out at the same time. How phenomenal is that? And then of course you could, you know, you could do lots of different things. We'll be doing videos, you'll see. But I'm excited about that because that's a super easy way to make a whole bunch of tags. You could add it to your little tin. So Stampin' Up! also released these, which are awesome. Um, hold on, let me get this open. These are foil lined or foil edged envelopes, which are kind of like thin and soft. They're kind of cool. And then these card bases. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. So you're going to be able to make some really cool stuff with these. So I got those. Oh, and they sent me a complimentary catalog, which was so lovely of them. Okay, I've got those. And then, oh my gosh, I'm running out of space to set things. All right. Oh, okay. So then we've got Santa's Workshop 12 by 12 designer uh, cardstock. So this is um, 12 sheets, 24 sheets, 12 of each color. And the colors that are in here are not on this paper. I think it is Garden Green and Poppy Parade. The color of my shirt. It's kind of Poppy Parade. So. I got these because I like to make boxes and different designs and stuff and so I wanted some 12 by 12 cardstock to, to be able to do that. All right, so then I've got, oh, this is, this is the stuff I'm dying to see here, all this. Okay, so we've got galvanized metallic paper. Look at this paper, let's check it out. Oh my Lord. So it's like silver, but more looking like a nut, a bolt, or a washer, right? So it's not silver, silver. Very pretty. So there's that. I don't know what other... Oh, okay. This is... Oh, look at this. Uh-oh, mine's all jacked up. I'm going to have to call Stampin' Up. That's kind of sucky. Okay. So this is the Santa's Workshop Designer Series Paper. Let's look at it. Let's get this out of the way so it's not so close to the camera. Okay. Oh, you guys, you guys, you can't see this. But there's, it's velvety. Oh, it's velvety. I wonder if the dies cut these out. Let's find them. Let's find the dies. Where are they? Okay, let's see. <gasps> Shut the front door. I am. What about it? Look at this. How incredibly easy is this going to be? You can cut them out of the paper. Shut up. I can't even right now. Is this this guy? This is this guy. Look at that. So you don't even have to stamp them if you don't need to or want to. Oh my God. To die for. Because then look, you could just stamp right on this little thing here. <gasps> Be still my heart. One more reason, this is my fave. Can't even. Okay, so there's that. And then it's got these adorable holly berries on the back, which 
can we even just have a minute about that? Oh, and look at the snowman with the little snowman giving him his little gifty. Oh, <gasps> and this guy's taking a little snooze. He's feeling tired and he's juggling. And there's gorgeous paper on the back. Fantastic. Yes, it is flocked paper. Swoon, swoon. Yes, Ashley says, I love that the framelits coordinate with the paper. You guys, I'm telling you. I, okay, I'm going to tell you this right now. If you want the Santa stuff and this stuff, you better either become a demo and order it now or order it as soon as it hits. Because if you don't, it's going to go on back order. I'm making that prediction that this paper and this set will go on back order. Yeah, look at this. I mean, I'm sorry, but Stampin' Up, you hit it out of the park with this business. Look at these little elves climbing the tree. Oh my God. Oh, look at this. This paper came all like messed up on the edge. That's the great thing about Stampin' Up. When I call them and tell them this, they'll replace it for me. Cause look, I can't use that. It's all bent. Sometimes that happens in shipping. So this is flocked. This is the red part. Wait, no, no, the white part is flocked. Oh my God, same with this, same with this. Shut up, let me see. Can we cut Santa? Oh, <gasps> you guys, it cuts everything. I'm telling you right now, I'm freaking out. Look. I bet this little guy cuts out too. Yep. Oh my God. Adorable. When people get cards made with this, they're going to think it's the cutest thing they've ever seen in their lives. I'm just saying. Look at Santa with the, all the little elves. Candy canes on the back. So here's the this real struggle is that every piece of this paper is adorable front and back. So how am I going to choose what I'm going to use? That's a real nightmare. Okay. I'm, I'm going to calm down now a little bit. All the sheets have flocking on one side, Janet. Which is incredible. Okay, let's see. I've shown you that. That. I'm going, going back through everything, seeing what I missed. Oh, this is more of the galvanized paper. Cool. Okay, so I've, I've shown you that. And I've got more stuff, and we're not done. Okay. Awesome ribbon here. It's just some red ribbon with white trim, which is really, really pretty. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, and then there is... Um, this is... Mary Merlot and copper. So it's kind of like shimmery. It's really pretty. And then this ribbon is interesting. It is half grow, grow grain or however you want to say that. Grow grain. Everybody says it different. Some people say gross grain. Some people say grow grain. For heaven sakes alive can we please get this open okay so look at I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it so it's like satiny on one side and then like the grow grain on the other side cool huh hey Carrie super happy you're here hanging with us Okay, I've got more of that, ribbons. This is the Joyous Noel, which I've already shown you, and the, let's show you the paper I didn't show you earlier in the week, because I didn't have it. So that would be the farmhouse. DSP. 
super pretty. Love, 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 love these stars. Really masculine, warm. Um, this says Merry Christmas and cheers, tidying, good tidings. Oh, this is pretty. This almost looks like shiplap. That's pretty. This is very calming to me and like snuggle up by the fire with a cup of joe paper. Right? What else do we have? Black foil sheets. Ooh. I am going to be doing a paper share. That'll be up on my blog next week. Oh, this goes with uh, the Peaceful Noel stamp set. This is Frosted Floral. Let's look at this one. Very, very pretty paper. This could be used all year long, actually. This is definitely not, you could use this for fall, you could use it for winter, or you could totally use it for spring, like you could use that for spring. This is a great, this would be a great paper stack to have hanging around. If you watched earlier this week, you already saw this paper, the All is Bright. So let's skip down to this one, which is what? What is this? Country Lane. Country Lane. Designer Series paper. This is like little, what are these called? Milk? I don't know what these are, but really cute little designs. This is beautiful, kind of, um, all of this is gorgeous. Great fall paper here. Really, really pretty. This looks like little cotton, that's what that is. Girls, be quiet for me just for a few more minutes, okay? I Not right now. Unless you're like bleeding or dying or something, give me a minute. There's pumpkins and print on the back. So cute. So pretty. Love this paper. Great fall paper. Okay. And then what else do we have? Do we have any other paper? I think that's all the paper. Yep. I've got this paper, which I wanted to see. I'm hoping that this is like the other glitter paper, the new glitter paper. Girls, I need you to stop. Um, so this, let's see. Yep, doesn't come off. Oh my gosh. Aunt, prayers answered, right? So this is the Joyous Noel Designer Series paper. It's green and red. And then this beautiful like coppery gold. And so I have to say when we had this paper in the spring catalog, they made some that was beautiful that matched um what did it match let me think the magical myth myth and magical designer series paper it was like the little wizards and stuff but i never used it because the glitter went everywhere so stampin up has fixed that so that now all of our glitter paper is still glittery but it's like stuck to the paper like it doesn't come off so I don't know how they do that kind of stuff, but it's amazing and I'm so happy. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. Because now I can use glitter paper. I couldn't stand it before. I couldn't stand the mess. Okay. Um, and then, of course, I've got the gold foil envelopes and card bases. So very, very pretty there as well. All right. That's everything. That's everything. Do you think it's enough? <laughs> I think so. I think it's enough. Um, so you guys are going to see lots of fun stuff being made with this. If you want to get your hands on any of this now, you can purchase the Stampin' Up! Starter Kit for $99 plus tax. Shipping is free. You get to choose $125 in product and you can choose these products to put in your kit. So it's a great way to get your hands on um, Christmas stuff early. Then once you uh, purchase the starter kit, you are part of my little Stampin' family online. We have a great Facebook group. It's all exclusive um, to those that join my team. And you do not have to sell. You do not have to host parties. That's all a myth. You are welcome to just purchase your own product at a discount. So um, 
I try to tell people all the time, it is the best deal for your money. You're going to save a lot more money if you order from me and you, instead of ordering from me, you purchase the starter kit and you become part of my team. So you're still hanging with me. We're still like interacting on a regular basis. And the difference is you get 20% off all your orders. So just think on that. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna clean all this mess up because it's everywhere now and I'm going to get busy making stuff. Join me back here on Monday at 10.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time for uh, my regular Monday Live Facebook Lives. Um, I, in the past, was, um, in the last few weeks, I meant, I've not been live because I've been traveling. So I'm excited to get back into the normal routine and I'll see you guys on Monday. Take care, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.